What's going on guys? You know you know here back again with another video. Today we are reacting to some more Jujutsu Kaisen. We're on chapter 230. We had a break last week, but we are back with the fight of Sukuna and Gojo. Uh the decisive battle in the inhabited demon infested Shinjuku part 8. Amahuraga enters the field, completely destroys Gojo's infinite void. So it adapts to infinite void. So I'm curious how this battle is going to take place. Uh, I believe we might be reaching a climax with this. If Gojo doesn't defeat Mahuraga quickly, then that could be it, which is crazy. Anyway, let's hop into it. Destruction incarnated enters the ring. That's Mahuraga. So that's the crown jewel of the Zenin clan. It's a Shikigami that, uh, with the ability to adapt to any attack. You're saying it was able to adapt uh, to if, uh, unlimited void. We got the crows flying around, <laughs> recording everything. And yo, Mahuraga is massive. Sukun is walking up. It looks like he's healing too. Gojo Sartoro was well aware of Mahuraga's abilities. In his battle with uh, Yorozu, Sukuna used Maharaga's adaption ability for himself in order to see through her construction technique. Okay, yep, that's why he put the wheel behind him. That's why he put the wheel behind him. The, demand, uh, the domain expansion short hit effect canceled each other out a total of five times. Go to Sartre's short hit effect target everything within the domain. Sukuna's short hit effect, however, target everything within the domain except himself. Which mean oh uh, which meant that the short hit effect targeting Sukuno was still in place. Huh? Uh I, I think Oh hold up. Let me read that again. The domain expansion short hit uh effects cancel each other out a total of five times. Gojo uh Gojo's short hit effect targeted everything within the domain. Okay. Target everything in the domain. Sukuna's short hit effect, however, targeted everything in the domain within himself. That makes sense. So that Mahuraga will adapt to his ability, which meant that the short hit effect targeting Sukuna was still in place. Okay, so the short hit, um, the short hit effect targeting Sukuna, which was the uh, Gojo's um, Gojo's unlimited boy, still targeted Sukuna. I, I feel like I, that was weirdly uh, worded. He continued to take on the limited void five times while shortening the burden of Maharaga's adaption. And the one who bro uh, who actually bore this burden was Huh? He adapted to a limited void within 0 0.01 seconds. It's just no way. Not only did the wheel not turn, but he only summoned Maharaga after he took my attack. Did Sukuna take over the burden of Mar uh, Maharaga's adaption ability? No. The one taking the damage to use the adaption was Megami Soul. That was smart as shit. That was smart as shit. That was smart. Oh, Sukuna played chess. Okay, okay. Sukuna played chess with that one. That was a okay. That makes sense now. That that was good. That was good. That was good. That was good. Damn, that was good. <laughs> that was, okay. Okay. What's up? You look like you have something on your mind, and he sends Maharaga back in the shadows. Uh, not really. It was. It just warms my heart seeing you so desperate. <laughs> Everyone calling him the King of Frauds. I know Twitter been calling him the King of Frauds. <laughs> Look who's talking. Unlimited Void, an ability that activates once inside your domain. Honestly, I figured it was going to be a real pain. That's why my first move was to take that card out of the deck. Yup, he he planned that from the gate. While unable to use amplification uh, within the domain, I have Fushigiro Megami adapt to Unlimited Void using 10 Shadows technique. As a result, I can't use any curse technique other than what was imbued in my domain. That's okay. That's why he wasn't using his other curse techniques. I suppose that paid off in its own way. All he took on was the process of adaption 
and not the resulting adaption, right? Sukuna, you haven't actually adapted Megami, uh, adapted Megami Soul to its uh, limited. Wait, you haven't actually adapted Megami Soul itself to a limited void. If I open my domain again, my Haraga won't be able to bail you out. I'll destroy it in a one. I'll destroy it in one attack. So go and he's about to do domain again. Jesus Christ, bro! This has been a domain battle. <laughs> you can no longer open your domain. Gah. Oh shit! Oh shit! Gojo's bleeding in front of the nose again. What just happened? Did my bad feeling turn out to be right? Look, look, yo, you the do look. I know people have been saying you look scared to fight Sakuna, but he has been looking scared. Using reverse curse technique to heal your exhausted uh, innate technique. Looks like you strained yourself quite a bit. Your curse technique is etched into your brain. Roughly around the right uh, prefrontal cortex. You've been using curse energy to damage your brain, then using reverse curse technique to refresh your burnt out curse technique. Dang! Even using that once is way too risky. The brain especially. The part of the brain where curse techniques are uh, uh, concerned is a black box. It isn't simple as thinking about healing it than just doing that. Uh, in computer science, a system that operates uh, as we have no knowledge of its internal workings. Okay. Based on the soul, uh, based solely on the amount of times he's done it already, he should be at death's door. He did something that reckless four times, and just a second ago, makes five times. I thought Gojo had been getting uh, used to healing his brain, but it looks like he's suffering the uh, Ooga, the sequelae now. Sukuna's so done it. Fewer times, so he has more lead weight than Sartaro here. You reach the limit completely separate from healing. Uh, your flesh got you reach the limit completely separate from healing your flesh and bones. I suppose you could expand your domain again. You perished the moment you did so. Not to mention the fact that you won't be uh, nearly precise enough to oppose me. Gojo drops to his knees. This this ain't the end of Gojo. This this can't be the end. I can see Gojo pulling something out. I feel like Gojo has to do one more purple to um to like end the fight. But I, I don't think this is it. Next, I'll close the barrier of my domain. And you will be left with nowhere to run. While I carve you into pieces. I'll even adapt to that infinity of yours. Oh yo. <laughs> nah. This is goodbye. And you were born in the era without me and hailed as the strongest. And yet you turned out to be painfully ordinary domain expansion. It looks like it's ripped apart. It looked like it just blew up on spot. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. It hadn't even been 10 seconds since Akuna took a blow from a limited void. And yet, like Gojo Sartaro, Sakuna's brain sustained enough damage to make domain expansion impossible. Okay, so domain expansion is done. Domain expansion is done. They got to fight with hands now. They got to fight with hands now. <laughs> Yo, look at the eyes. Ooh, nah, nah. Nah, looks like it's hitting you pretty damn hard. <laughs> My students are watching you now. Oh, he got to show off. He got to show off. <laughs> oh my God. I'm going to go ahead and keep showing off. <laughs> he pulls him in and punches Sukuna. <laughs> Neither yield the decisive battle of the strongest heads to round, uh, heads to round two. This is only round two? <laughs> Yo, what? Bro, the loneliest that oh uh, gosh, the loneliness that comes with unraveled strength. The one who will teach you about love is that was a uh, Yorozo, uh, Yorozu's uh, words. So will Sakuna actually like? I think this is Sakuna's way of like, okay, I found what I've been chasing for so long. Dang. 
What if what if it uh doesn't say it's what if it um it said the one that uh will teach you about love isn't Gojo and it says the one that'll teach you about love is Kashimo. <laughs> That would be good because I'm still anticipating that fight. I'm still anticipating uh, Kashima versus Kuna. This was a this is a really good chapter. Really good chapter. Dang. Now they're on even playing fields. No more. So, so Kuna has no choice. He has to use the Ten Shadows now. He, I mean, he can use his other curse techniques, but he'll probably utilize the Ten Shadows now. So we will really see a. Uh, a fight against six eyes limits and um ten shadows which that's what i expect coming uh coming up and that th this is that was crazy that was this was a crazy chapter so domain expansions is out of the picture we gotta we gotta we gotta knuckle up we gotta knuckle up anyway that was a chapter this was an incredible chapter incredible chapter giga uh, if you guys like this chapter, be sure to give the video a like. If you didn't like it, dislike it doesn't really matter to me. If you want to see um, next week's chapter, be sure to subscribe to the channel. Hit that bell notification. Away. You'll know when it's come out. It might be early like it is this week. So we'll see. Um, if you want to see more of me, catch me on Twitter. If you know, you know. Or X. Now that this, I'm not calling it X. Anyway, <laughs> catch me on Twitter. If you know, you know. And it's something you know. We're trying you know.